Welcome to this OpenTX and Tyrannus quick tip. Now we've already done a video or two about the sensors in OpenTX 2.1 and in fact you can go and watch the one that we did on the GPS sensor which was quite detailed but one of the things that we've got a lot of questions about is how you use this little guy here. Now this is the FR Sky LiPo voltage sensor. It's the really cool one that has a little display and when you just plug it into the balance tap of your battery plug the other end into one of the X-series receivers and then all of the data appears on your radio. The challenge is, is by default you only get one reading. So here on this little image we have the 11.9 volts reading for the battery voltage then we can see that each of the individual cells, cell 1 is 3.96, so cell 2, cell 3 is fractionally higher at 3.98 volts. However if we actually look on the radio here we are discovering our sensors. We have just one thing here called receiver battery and we have something called cells. The challenge is of course if you can only see one sensor when you are looking for it on the radio and we get CELS, how do you get all of that other data on here which is talking about the other battery voltages so you can set alarms, keep track of everything. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to look at that in this video. So let me clear off the desk a little bit, zoom in and I'll show you how to set that up. So I've actually got a couple of extra sensors I've already set up. I've sensors 4 and 5 are ones that I've created from the sensor that we actually can see from the smart port LiPo battery monitor thing. So CELS is 11.9 volts which is the total amount and I've set up something called L cell which is the cell that's actually showing me the lowest cell voltage. So let me show you how that works. So I've called it lowest cell or L cell. Its uh, type is calculated. The formula is cell. The cell center it's coming from is that CELS sensor, that one at the very top of that list that we can see when we discover the sensors. And then finally, the cell index is lowest. Now using this same way, we just exit out of that, you can set up a cell view for each of the individual cells on the battery. So I've also set up cell one. So if we go in there and edit that, again, you can see the same. I've called it cell one, so I can remember which one it is. Type is calculated formula is cell, the cell sensor is CELS, again the top one in the list, this time the cell index is 1. So let me take another one, so we'll set it up so you can see the second cell as well and then you'll have the idea. So we're going to select add a new sensor, press and hold enter, we're going to then call it something that we remember, I'm going to call it cell 2. I'm going to go down to here, we're going to say the type is calculated. We're going to say the formula and we have add, average, min, max, multiply, totalize and cell. That's all we want. Oops. Go down and say cell sensor. We want to choose CELS. We only have one so we'll let us choose that. And then this is the cool part, the cell index. Now this is the one that allows us to pick all of the different options. So if I highlight this, obviously the, the lowest cell or L cell that I created was using this formula here. So it will show me the lowest cell. This is very handy if you want to set up an alarm or do any checkings with things like logical switches and stuff where if the lowest cell goes below a particular value, then that triggers some kind of warning. But we don't want lowest cell. We can either have cell index 1, 2 or 3. And those are the individual cells out there. And that goes all the way up to 6 because the sensor is uh, capable of supporting a 6S battery. Or we can also choose the highest or the difference between each of the cells. So at the moment I'm just going to say we want cell 2. If we come back out then now there we have a view of cell 1 and cell 2 and that's what's reading on the display of the battery sensor. For completeness, let's add new sensor very quickly. Let's add one for that final cell. And apologies for using uppercase, it's just I'm rushing. Okay. Type is going to be calculated. Formula is going to be cell. Then cell sensor is going to be CELS. Cell index, of course, this time is going to be cell 3. When I come out, there we can see the 3.96 volts 
cells 1, 2 and 3. We can see that cell 3 is that slightly higher value of 3.98. Other last thing you can do, which is quite cool, let's do one new sensor. We're going to call this C diff, something like that. And what we can do is set it up to show us the difference between the highest and lowest cell in the battery so we can see how well it's balanced. Let's go down here. Okay, we're going to set it to cell. Then we're going to select cell sensor CLS. This time we're going to go right to the top and we're going to say delta. And now when we come out, we can see that C diff is showing us the difference between the lowest and the highest cell in the pack. So that's the trick. If you want to get access to all this information and you're worried in OpenTX 2.1 that when you discover the sensors, all you're getting is CELS, which is just giving you the overall battery voltage. If you just create those additional little sensors, you can not only get things like the individual cell readings, you can also get things for the lowest cell and also for cool things like the highest cell and even the difference between the highest and lowest cell in your pack. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.